Hello and welcome to my video where I will try and give you as much inspiration as possible to come up with your own fancy dress idea. I'm going to start at A, finish at Z and be as quick as I possibly can. So let's get going. Agent Smith from The Matrix, Air Hostess, Aladdin, Alice in Wonderland, Alien, Alphabetti Spaghetti, Amelia Earhart, Anarchist, Anchorman, Ancient Egyptian, Angel, Aquarium, Arcade Game, Army Soldier, King Arthur, Artist, Astronaut, Audrey Hepburn, Austin Powers, Australian, Ballerina, Bam Bam from The Flintstones, Barbarian, Barbie, Bat, Batman, Baywatch Lifeguard, Bearded Lady, One of the Beatles, Beatnik, Bellatrix Lestrange, Belly Dancer, Bigfoot, Biker, Blues Brother, Bounty Hunter, Boxer, Bride of Frankenstein, Bugsy Malone, with party string and a pinstripe suit, of course, Builder, Bunny Girl, Burglar, with the classic black and white striped top and swag bag, Butcher, Butler, Caesar Salad, Can Can Dancer, Cannibal, Captain Hook, Captain Jack Sparrow, Casanova, Cat or Cheshire Cat, Caterpillar, maybe using a green sleeping bag, Catman, normal clothes with holes in and fur poking out, Catwoman, Cavewoman, Caveman, Centaur, Charlie Chaplin, Cheerleader, Chimney Sweep, Cinderella, Circus Ringmaster, Clark Kent, Cleopatra, Clown, Colonel Mustard, a comic book character complete with fake plastic hair, cardboard clothes, cardboard thought bubbles, etc. Cookie Monster, Corpse or Corpse Bride, Cousin It from the Adams Family, Cowboy or Cowgirl, Cricketer, Crocodile Dundee, and obviously get an inflatable crocodile, Cruella de Vil, Cyclops, a Dalek, Darth Vader, a Demon, Dennis the Menace, the Devil, Dick Turpin, Dick Van Dyke, Dinosaur, Disco Ball, Disco Dancer, Doctor, Doctor Who, a Doll, with wire in your pigtails to make them stick out, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, Dr. Frankenverter, Dracula, Dumbledore, E.T., Edwardian, Edward Scissorhands, Einstein, Elf, Elvis, Emoji, Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Explorer, Fairy, Fallen Angel, Farmer, Fencer, Fester from The Addams Family, Fireman, Flamenco Dancer, Flapper Girl from the Twenties, Flower Pot Man, Forensic Scientist, Frankenstein, French Maid, Frida Kahlo, Gandalf, Gangster, Geek, Geisha, Ghost, Ghostbuster, Ghoul, Gingerbread Man, Gladiator, Gnome, Goldfinger, Gorilla, Goth, Grapes, Gravedigger, Greek God or Goddess, Grim Reaper, God, Guy Fawkes, Hamburglar, Hannibal Lecter, Harry Potter, Headless Person, Headless Horseman, Headless Ghost, Hippie, Hobbit, Homer Simpson, Hula Girl or Hawaiian Dancer, The Hulk, Ice Queen, Indiana Jones, Iron Man, Jack in a Box, Jack O'Lantern, Jack Skellington, Jailbird, James Bond, Janitor, Jazz Musician, as in with a suit, a hat and a toy saxophone. Jedi, Jester, Jockey, The Joker, Jolly Green Giant, Judge, Julius Caesar, Karate Kid, Kate Bush, Kermit, Keyboard, King, King Kong, Kitten, Klingon, Knight, Krusty the Clown, Kung Fu Panda, Kurt Cobain, Lara Croft, Leprechaun, Librarian, Lifeguard, Little Mermaid, Little Red Riding Hood, Lumberjack, Mad Hatter, Mad Scientist, Madonna, Mafia Member, Magician, Maid Marion, Mannequin, Marge Simpson, Marie Antoinette, Marilyn Monroe, Mario or Luigi, Martian, Mary Poppins, Matador, MC Hammer, Medusa, Men in Black, Merlin, Mermaid, Milky Bar Kid, A Millionaire or the Monopoly board game man, Mime, Minnie Mouse, Miss Piggy, Moaning Myrtle, with or without a cardboard toilet seat around your neck. Monk, Monster, Moulin Rouge Dancer, Mr. Bean, Mr. Blobby, Mr. Muscle, Mrs. Doubtfire, Muggle, Mummy, Musketeer, Napoleon, Dynamite or Bonaparte. Narcissist, where you could just carry a mirror. Narwhal, Ned Flanders, Neil Armstrong, Nemo from Finding Nemo. Neo from The Matrix, Nerd, New Romantic or 80s icon such as Adam Ant. Newspaper, Ninja, Noah, Noddy, A Norse God, A Nun, A Nurse, Old Man or Old Woman, which you could do by dyeing your hair grey and painting on some wrinkles, Umpa Lumpa, Orc from Lord of the Rings, A Painter, A Pantomime Dame or Horse, Paparazzi, Peas in a Pod, Olive Oil, as in Popeye's Friend, Pac-Man, Pearly King or Queen, Penguin, Peter Pan, Phantom of the Opera, Pilot, a pink lady from Greece, a pirate, a pixie, 
Plague Doctor, Playing Card, Pocahontas, Pop or Rockstar, Popcorn, Popeye, Postman, Pope, Mr. Potato Head, Prince Charming, Princess, Prisoner, Pumpkin, Punk, Rocker, Puppet, The Queen or any other queen from history, Queen of Hearts, Quasimodo, A Rabbit, A Ragdoll, A Raindrop, Rambo, Rapper, Richie Rich, Rick Astley, Robin, as in Batman and Robin, Robin Hood, Robot, Roman Centurion, Ronald McDonald, Rose from Titanic, Rosie the Riveter, Rupert Bear, A Sailor, A Samurai, A Sandwich, Sandy from Greece, Santa, Satan, A Scarecrow, Scientist, Scuba Diver, Secretary, Shaggy or Scooby-Doo, A Shadow, so all in black, maybe get a black morph suit. I saw a really good fancy dress where two people dressed as Peter Pan and his shadow. Shakespeare, Sheep, Sherlock Holmes, Sheriff, Showgirl, Shrek, Sideshow Bob, Skeleton, Smurf, Snow White, Snowman, Soldier, Spaceman, a Spice Girl, Spider-Man, Spongebob Squarepants, a Spy, a Statue or Living Statue, the Statue of Liberty, a stereotype, for instance, a German, a Frenchman, or someone Scottish. A stormtrooper, a sumo wrestler, a superhero, superman, surfer, surgeon, a surrealist painter. Sweeney Todd, Tarzan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teletubby, Tetris, Thunderbird, Tin Man, Tinkerbell, Topsy Turvy, Tourist, T-Rex, Troll, Tudor, like Henry VIII, Ugly Sister, from Cinderella, Vampire, Vampire Slayer, Van Helsing, Vanilla Ice, Vicar, Victorian, Viking, Voldemort, Wednesday Adams, Wench, Werewolf, Where's Wally, or Where's Waldo, Willy Wonka, Wilma Flintstone, A Witch, A Wizard, Wizard of Oz, A Wolf, or Wolverine, Wonder Woman, Wood Nymph, a Yeti, Yoda, Yogi Bear, Zeus, Zelda, Ziggy Stardust, Zombie or Zorro. And that concludes my list. I'm now going to talk about some other ways you can come up with ideas that I didn't cover in the list. So the first one is art. Now you can dress up as a famous artist. For instance, Frida Kahlo, Van Gogh or Salvador Dali. They're all good ones. Or you could dress up as a piece of artwork. And I have seen some really good examples of this. I've seen someone dress up as the Son of Man by René Magritte. I've seen people dress up as American Gothic. If you're a couple, then that's quite a fun piece of art to replicate. There's also things like the Mona Lisa that, of course, everybody knows. And you could also replicate famous photographs, such as the New York Workers photograph. And there's also the Sailor's Kiss. And that's another one, if you're in a couple, that you could try and create. You can also dress as a painting style. So you could dress like Matisse, Pollock. You could dress as Cubism, as Pointillism. You could try and dress as a Lowry character. You could become a Mondrian painting. Or, my favourite one, become a Liechtenstein character. I saw a really good one. I think it actually went viral a few years back where someone became a Liechtenstein character. And they did face paint dots all over the face and they painted their hair yellow and it just looked great. I'll try and leave a link to that below. Basically, if you're artistic or you know art at all, this is a great topic to find ideas in and it's unlikely anyone else will do it. Another way of coming up with an idea is to make anything or anyone dead or evil. And this is obviously particularly good for Halloween when you want to be scary. Some ideas within this topic include dead Disney characters. I know it's very morbid, but it is Halloween. So you can make Disney characters into zombies, basically. So you could have zombie Gaston or zombie Belle, and I think it would be a really fun idea. Other examples include evil butcher, a dead ballerina, evil Mary Poppins, an evil tooth fairy or Easter bunny. Basically, it's a lot more effective if you make something innocuous or nice into something scary. Another way of coming up with an idea is to just dress as a fashion. So for instance, you use the fashion from a certain decade to create your costume. 
So if you pick the 60s, you could be a hippie. If you pick the 90s, you could be like a mosher or a skater. If you pick the 20s, you could be a flapper girl. 70s would be disco or a punk rocker. So just picking a decade and dressing up as a sort of fashion icon from that time is also an effective idea. One of the big topics to find ideas from is, of course, celebrities, singers, icons, legends, historical or political figures. Examples of these could be anywhere from Lady Gaga to the Beatles to Elton John or Meatloaf, Marilyn Monroe to King Henry VIII or Dick Turpin the Highwayman or Cleopatra, Napoleon Bonaparte, Elizabeth I, etc. Just basically famous figures, current or historical. And then probably the most popular and an even bigger topic is film, TV, book or comic book characters. Obviously there is a huge supply of characters that you can dress up as. I'm just going to quickly go through a big list of examples now just to give you some inspiration. Albus Dumbledore, Ron Swanson, Wonder Woman or Catwoman, James Bond, Holly Golightly, Princess Leia, Forrest Gump, Dracula, Superman, Spider-Man, The Joker, Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction, Edward Scissorhands, One of the Addams Family, Willy Wonka, Sally Bowles from Cabaret, Maverick from Top Gun, Don Vito Corleone from The Godfather, Marty McFly, Sandy and Danny from Greece, Dr. Frankenfurter, Fred or Wilma Flintstone, Napoleon Dynamite, Austin Powers, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Lara Croft, Bridget Jones, Robin Hood, Zoolander and The Tin Man from Wizards of Oz. Those are just a drop in the ocean compared to all the characters you could dress as, but they are some of the most recognisable ones. Obviously, particularly at Halloween, scary movie villains are an excellent character choice. For instance, Maleficent, who is a Disney villain. Or someone like Freddy Krueger, who is a classic scary villain. You can even dress up as cartoon characters, like from The Simpsons. You can make a cardboard mask for cartoon characters because of the 2D nature of the faces. So you can just print out the face and stick it onto some cardboard and make it into a mask. Other examples of cartoon characters include Hey Arnold, Beavis and Butthead and Johnny Bravo. You can also dress up as characters from musicals, such as Elphaba from Wicked. Another way of coming up with ideas is to scan the dictionary. Even though it might not seem like a good idea, it might seem like a weird idea, you can scan a dictionary to look for inanimate objects or other random ideas. For instance, you could dress up as a sandwich or a Rubik's Cube. Another idea is to dress up as a toy from your childhood. For instance, a troll doll, an action man, Barbie, Care Bear, a Cabbage Patch doll, Stretch Armstrong or Furby. Any of those ideas could work very well. A fun idea could be to dress as someone you know who will be at the party. For instance, the host of the party. Of course, you want to be flattering and not insulting, but it's good to do if the person has quite a recognisable look. You could do a half and half costume, which can be really effective, although maybe a little bit more effort. To do this, you basically draw a line, either real or metaphorical, right down the centre of your body and then you do a different costume or different style on each side of your body. For instance, you could do one half evil, one half normal. You could do one half as an angel, one half as a devil. You could do one half good clown, one half evil clown. And usually you'd pick something good or something innocent and then something evil or scary. Another thing you see a lot at Halloween is people dressing as animals like black cats. But there are so many animals to choose from that you can pick something more unique. You could pick a fantasy animal or a mythical animal, for instance a unicorn or a centaur. Or just something normal or funny or weird. Examples include a cow, a chicken, a duck, a butterfly, a tarantula, a sheep, an armadillo, a lion and a penguin. And finally, the last topic that you can source interesting ideas from are current events. So, news stories or scandals, but obviously this is a dangerous area to choose as well because you have to keep in good taste. Obviously, don't pick something bad taste or offensive. It's best to stick to amusing or feel-good news stories or some kind of funny scandal in politics.
For instance, I think a couple of years ago, some Chilean miners got stuck in a mine and there was this big story about it. It was a rescue effort and they all got out perfectly fine. And I saw someone dress up for fancy dress as a Chilean miner as a result. So it's that kind of thing, that kind of story that actually ends well. And you can use those sorts of current events to inspire your costumes. And that's the end of my video. I really hope that all of these lists and topics have helped to inspire you to come up with something a bit more interesting and creative to dress up as this Halloween. Thank you very much for watching.